Laparoscopic low anterior resection is an operation performed to remove a rectal cancer while sparing the sphincter muscles and reconnecting the bowel. Potentially, this provides a curative operation without a permanent colostomy. Under general anesthesia, using a camera lens and two instruments, the lower colon or sigmoid is carefully dissected free. The left ureter, which carries urine from the kidney to the bladder, is identified and marked to avoid injury. Next, the fatty envelope behind the rectum itself, the mesorectum, is carefully dissected away from the bones, blood vessels, and nerves of the pelvis. Since it contains the regional lymph nodes to which rectal cancer first spreads, it will be removed with the rectal tumor and sent to the pathologist for study under the microscope. Here we see the right ureter being identified prior to dissecting the right side of the mesorectum. The end of the right fallopian tube is visible just above the tip of the cautery instrument. Next, the right hypogastric nerve trunk is identified and preserved. As long as either the right or left nerve is preserved, the patient's ability to experience sexual orgasm following surgery should be intact. The nerve, having been identified and preserved, allows the mobilization of the rectum to proceed safely. The initial dissection is done with an electrosurgical device as the risk of bleeding is low and there are few blood vessels in this tissue plane. As the pelvic floor is approached during dissection, the space around the rectum becomes more narrow. Careful attention is given to blood vessels and surrounding organs, such as the vagina in women and the prostate gland in men, so as to avoid injury. Much of the dissection is carried out using the ultrasonic scissors, which seals small blood vessels as they divide tissues. After sufficient mobilization is achieved, the surgeon performs a digital rectal exam to precisely identify the location of the rectal tumor. Next, a laparoscopic stapling device is used to carefully divide the rectum below the tumor. This instrument fires six rows of titanium staples to seal both sides of the bowel. Then it divides the bowel with a steel blade between the middle rows. In this case, two applications of this 60 millimeter device are needed to completely divide the rectum. Next, a point along the sigmoid colon is chosen for dissection and division. The area must be mobile enough to reach the remaining rectum, but high enough above the tumor so that the important mesorectum lymph nodes are removed. The chosen site is marked with clips. The mesentery is scored to mark the line of transection. Next, the large arteries and veins to this bowel segment are individually dissected out, carefully clipped, and then divided with the ultrasonic scissors. Small blood vessels near the bowel can be divided with the ultrasonic scissors alone. In order to remove the tumor and the surrounding rectal tissues, the left lower quadrant laparoscopic incision is extended in this case to 4 centimeters. A wound protection sleeve is then inserted to prevent any tumor cells from being implanted into the wound when the cancer is pulled out of the abdomen. The rectal portion to be removed is then extracted and the bowel divided. The specimen is then sent to the pathologist to examine the tumor and the nearby lymph nodes under the microscope. At this point in the video, the anvil has been secured, the wound closed, and laparoscopy resumed. The surgeon checks to see that the anvil will easily reach the remaining rectum. The main part of the end-to-end -end anastomotic stapler is then inserted into the rectum and the center spike shaft is slowly advanced to the rectal stump adjacent to the prior staple line. The stapling device is connected, carefully closed, and then fired, thus joining the two ends of bowel by forming two concentric circles of titanium staples and cutting a hole inside the ring of staples.
The device is then open, extracted, and the shaft inspected for two complete rings of tissue, one from the sigmoid and one from the rectum. A clamp is then placed across the lower colon The pelvis is filled with saline. And the proctoscope is inserted into the rectum. The rectum is filled with air, and the absence of bubbles in the saline confirms that the stapler has created an airtight seal at the new bowel connection. The fluid is suctioned out and a small drain placed in the pelvis to prevent fluid buildup. The three small incisions are then closed with absorbable sutures, thus completing the operation.